Okay. Thank you, Denise. Uh, hello, everyone. Today I will show how you can quickly and efficiently create shippers in QED with 32 soft cell sorter shippers data loader. Let's look first at the process this loader is designed for. A generic sales process flow may start with pre-sales steps when price is negotiated with the customer, contract is signed, and optionally quote is sent. This leads to the creation of the sales order in QED. Sales order specifies how much inventory should be shipped, when, where, to what address, and from what location. There are a couple of different shipment functions in QED. They have different interfaces or layouts, but they all result in, result in creation of shipment transactions and update of inventory balances. The most universal way to process shipments in QED that works for both discrete and scheduled sales orders is by using shippers. So this is that part of the sales process we will look at today. Those of you who work with shippers know that shippers creation process in QED can be quite smooth when you have all the required inventory on hand and shippers are downloaded, are generated automatically using QED auto allocation functions and may even join this webinar out of curiosity to see how already smooth process can be improved further. But if you do not use uh, QED warehousing add-ons like WMS or don't have any customized reports that show you daily shipment requirements, it may not be always easy for warehouse people to see from standard QD reports what exactly needs to be shipped by a specific date. And when shippers need to be created manually, the whole shipper maintenance process gets slower and affects overall warehouse efficiency. Another source of potential shipper maintenance issue is when shipments are physically performed by a third-party warehouse. Some companies contract with external warehouse providers to stock items and ship them in response to customer sales orders. They communicate the demand to the warehouse using some form of shipping authorization, and although these companies do not actually ship the items themselves, they need to maintain shipment records in their database to complete the sales order process and invoice customers. So regardless of whether you're currently happy with your shipping process or looking for a solution to improve it, I hope that you will find today's webinar useful and learn more about QD functionality and 32 soft loader capabilities. The goal of our webinars is not only to show what we can do for you and how we can help with your QD issues, but also to give you some idea on how your QD process can be improved. So, Let's look at the shipper loader itself. Sales order shipper data loader allows you to download from QED detailed information about due or upcoming shipments for selected range of sites, customer and ship to codes, and quickly convert this information into sales order shippers in QED. As we with all 32 soft data loaders, first thing you will need to do after opening loader template is to click on Setup button to select QD database you will be connecting to. You may have more than one database in this list. Select the line in the list of databases that you need and click on Select. This way, loader will know what QD database to connect to. To download you or upcoming shipments, you will need to specify QD site, shipment due date, and optionally range of customers and ship to addresses in the header. So for this demonstration, I will specify just range of sites and due date I want to see my shipments for. On click of download button, you will get into Excel from QED detailed information about due shipments based on the selection criteria you specified in the header. But if it is the first time you connect to QED after opening a template, you will be asked to enter your QED user ID, 
password and domain. Loader will check first if you are authorized to maintain supers in QED and only then will download from QED sales orders and allocation details. So this is what I have uh, shipment that I need to do in my test database. Downloaded sales order information includes customers and ship to codes, sales order number and line, item number and description, allocation details if any, and your current available quantity on hand and required shipment quantity. Value in the schedule column will indicate if order is scheduled or it means it's blanket customer order or it's a discrete regular demand sales order. And standard pack column will show your recommended order multiple for the item. Depending on the order type, scheduled or discrete, it comes by default from either field order multiple in item master or field standard pack quantity in customer schedule. If you run detailed sales order allocation prior to download or generated pick list, you will see quantity allocated in the quantity allocated column if there are any quantity picked and details of the site, location, lot and reference number. If there will be more than one lot or reference allocated for sales order line, it will be displayed as many times as many different um, location lot reference number combinations. If there is no allocated or picked quantity, then location and reference numbers, lot and reference numbers will be blank. You can specify location, lot serial and reference details manually or copy them from external file provided to you by a third party warehouse. To help you identify quantity available for shipment, its location and load reference number during manual entry, there are two drill downs available, allocated inventory report and quantity on hand report. So let's quickly look at both. For example, I want to type location and um, load and reference number if required for this sales order line. So I click on allocation report to see what I have and what's available for location. I can also check quantity on hand report and see, okay, what do I have for this item available? And then I can either copy paste from that pop-up screen or just type manually. If uh, shippers has been already created, like you see in column shipper number and there is number here, then you will see shipper number here. It means that this sales order have already, already has a shipper that hasn't been confirmed. So you don't need to ship it to create it the second time. When you are creating new shippers, so this is the list for all of all shippers that you need to perform by May 1st, 2015, in my example. When you create shippers, you need to leave only lines that you will be shipping. For example, I want to do this, to ship only these three lines. So I delete all the rest. And here it's been already picked for me by um, sales order allocation function. And the only thing I need just to verify data, you have quantity picked, there is location is specified, load reference is not required for those items. So I just need to click on upload button and shippers will be uploaded into QED. If shippers are created in QED successfully, Shipper number, will, shipper number will be returned into Excel and displayed in the shipper number column and you will see message loaded successfully in the status window. 
but prior to uploading shippers into KD, loader verifies all sales order details you have provided and um, item details. And if, for example, you will try to create a shipper for unconfirmed sales order or specify a location or load reference that does not exist in QED, loader will return error and shippers will not be created in QED. And when multiple sales orders for multiple items um, need to be shipped, then you'll have different shipper numbers here, separate shipper numbers created here. In my case, because I was using I was having different sales orders, but it was the same item. QED combined them into one shipper. So it's one shipper for multiple sales orders. And if I will re-download now uh, my shipments that, uh, shippers that I need to perform, I will see these lines as mark as being a shipper being created because I see the shipper number. As you can see, the loader is very simple and straightforward and you have access from it from to, it, to all information you need to create shippers number in QED. Once shipper is created, you can even view shipper by clicking on view shipper button and you can optionally print it. You can also view sales order so this is the sales order inquiry and I already showed you how you can review allocation details and quantity on hand details and um, basically what I demonstrated today is a generic version that can be customized based on your needs. Uh, those are general functions that everyone is using, but if you receive, for example, ship, shipment details from the third party in, in electronic format, you can add import function to the data loader and import third party data together with sales order, item location and lot serial details into Excel. We have several customer specific customization of this uh, loader. You can store this loader template on your computer or open it from the network drive or a cloud and multiple users can uh, work with this tool at the same time. Excel interface, as you're seeing, gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to reviewing and analyzing information you work with and 32 data loaders extend this flexibility to the data you store in QED.